Hello, welcome to Karma's a Stitch. Uh, this is a little vlog series that I'm doing for Christmas in July. And it is Wednesday evening as I am recording this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and insert um, clips from previous days because I think the last time I posted was Saturday evening. And Sunday is usually a really chill day for us. And I realized there wasn't much recorded. And then Alex, my daughter, was really feeling puny on Monday. So that was another really laid down day. Um, didn't get much recorded. <laughs> um, I have been knitting some, but not much because a lot of it has been spent just cuddling and hanging out with kids. I say kids, really just Alex. <laughs> I hang out with Anthony, but cuddle with Alex. Um, so, I haven't had much footage and it seemed f silly to me to put out a video of me making coffee and letting out the chickens and not having any progress to really show you guys. Um, so I do have some progress to show. If, if you guys recall, um, I went into Christmas in July with a few goals in mind. Um, and we'll talk about those goals at the end of this video because I wanted to just let you guys know, I'm sorry that it's been a few days. I will get this edited and uploaded tonight and um, I'll try to do better and have stuff each day. But truly, it's just been a lot of downtime. It's been so hot. We can't do anything really outside, um, but I'll try to do better for the rest of the month. Um, for now, I'm gonna let you watch the clips that I have gotten um, the last couple of days and um, and then I'll give a little, I'll I'm gonna turn this off and then turn it back on and record a closing note and show you guys progress. So enjoy the footage. Nothing super exciting that we went and did, um, but this is kind of what my life looks like right now. So enjoy and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so it's Monday evening and I have recorded nothing. I don't think, I might have gotten Anthony with the chickens today, 
But Alex this morning woke up about three hours earlier than she normally does. It was early. And she woke up and she said that her tummy felt angry and she wanted some water and she wanted a bath. She wanted to lay in the bathtub to help her tummy relax a little bit. So we took a couple of baths throughout the day and she laid in my bed and she laid on the couch at different times. She would just kind of doze in and out. She wouldn't watch a movie. I turned on in my living room with the TV, I turned YouTube on and I typed in um, kids relaxing music and it turns on on the whole screen like an ocean setting and you can see the different schools of fish and turtles and the underwater world with really soft relaxing music and I just turned that on um, so that she had something relaxing and soothing as background noise and she was back to sleep and then she'd wake up and I'd offer her some food and she didn't want anything. She said just the idea of eating something made her tummy angry. So she didn't eat, I think she had two bites of toast throughout the day and it's Monday night. And so she went back to her dad tonight and that starts his week with her. And even when he got here, she's just like, can I just lay down in your truck? And he carried her to the truck and she laid down and he did message me later. And I, cause I had asked him if she, he had gotten her to eat anything and she'd eaten some rice checks with bananas and blueberries in it. And he said she didn't eat very much, but she did eat and she went straight to bed for him as well. She really was laying down all day. So I'm hoping she feels better tomorrow. Um, cause she gets back here at 7.15 tomorrow morning so he can go to work. And I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. But you guys, I've recorded nothing. I will tell you that I am working on the waistband, the waist ribbing of my lapoof. So hopefully, I'm not going to edit this together. Maybe I'll edit this together because then it would be Sunday and Monday. Maybe I'll wait and do Tuesday too. I don't know yet. It might depend on how she's feeling because there wasn't much going on today except a bunch of cuddling. Um, so I hope everybody's doing okay and we will see you later. I'm a little nervous about letting the birds out this morning. We've got so many wildfires around here. I don't know if you can see it just the smoke in the air definitely impacting air quality but it's just so thick I'm sure the birds aren't gonna love breathing that Girls.
So as you can see, there really hasn't been a whole lot going on around here. Um, Sunday was church and I just kind of hang out with the family and it was my weekend with Alex. And so um, we really did just hang out at home and uh, went to church with Alex's dad. And then Monday, Alex wasn't feeling very good. So we stayed home Tuesday. I had to make up for that. <laughs> I had a few errands to run and I got my nails done. That's an every two week thing. So I got to relax with some quiet time. Um, and then today, today was a day where I did get some knitting done and it felt amazing. And I got to zoom with some friends and that's always wonderful. Um, so I'm going to show you my progress. So as I mentioned, I started Christmas in July with a few goals. The very first one was to get some um, personalized Christmas stockings for me and Anthony and Alex. And I got those done and I got those done quick. And when those got done and I've, I've shared um, those with you guys, I'll, I'll try to insert another picture here, but, um, when I got those done, I was kind of on the fence about, do I do some for more family or, or what, what should I do? I have more than half the month left. And I ended up choosing not to do more stockings because I was also doing, so I had three Christmas stockings and then I had that LaPouf, um, make along that was being uh, hosted by my two local yarn shops. So I wanted to participate in that. And with it being summer vacation and really needing to be engaged with Alex a lot, um, which is good, it's good for her and I both, it's good for everybody, but it, it is um, not what my normal is throughout the rest of the year because she's in school or she's with her dad. So during the summer, I have my full week with her. And then when she goes to her dad for his week, he goes to work at 7.15 in the morning and he drops her off with me. And so I get to hang out with her um, while he's at work, which I'm very, I feel very blessed and fortunate to be able to have that. Um, but it does take from my knitting time. So I didn't get as much done as I thought I would on that cardigan. So I'm gonna share my progress with the LaPouf cardigan. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I feel like I could have it done. I'll, I'll show you, um, let me, I'll put it on. I'm wearing a summer dress under this tank top. So just bear with me. I'll show you guys my progress here. So when you guys saw it last, this was my progress keeper. It was here when you guys saw it last and I got all through all the other colors and I got the waistband on. But what I have left, and I'm gonna go ahead and take this progress keeper off. What I have left is the button band. Take my hoodie off, give me one second. Put the cardigan on. Okay. So I am super excited. I mean, look at that. I love the pink, but I still do have to put on the button band on both sides. Now, what the pattern is telling me to do is start at this bottom corner and pick up stitches all the way up and around my neck and all the way back down this left side. And then as I have these stitches picked up, so I've picked up along this edge right here, and then it wants me to turn my work and then do ribbing. So then I'm gonna go back and forth across all these stitches, back and forth. So my ribbing is basically gonna be going this direction, right? Cause I'm gonna go out two inches with that hot pink, but I'll be going this way. And I don't know that I'm super excited about that. So I stopped and I need to, I'm going to put it on, but what I'm gonna do, I, I, I just 
haven't started and I wanted to get some confirmation from Erica is I'm gonna pick up stitches right here and I'm gonna go out, go up and go back. So my stitches will be going, I'll be doing ribbing. It's basically gonna look like this. It'll be going in the same direction as my waistband and as my cuffs and as the rest of the cardigan. I want my stitches to go in the same direction. So that is what I have left to do. But other than that, my cardigan is done. I got some great length out of it. Um, I did put seven colors in and this right here is what I have left. This is it. This is all I have left with the exception of the pink. I, I don't know how much I'll have left of the pink. But this, of the seven colors that I got from Mouse Witch Yarns, this is all I have left, and this was my color one. So, there's my cardigan. Let me get my hoodie put back on. Because... There we go. Now, because, because I put, um, because I put the cardigan down so that I could do the button band, I, so I had the three stockings and the lapoof, and then I had uh, taken a sock class. And the sock class that I took was really fun. And it was these sport socks, they were shorties. Even though they were shorties, I'll have you know, I added some length here, but isn't that cool? Can you see that? Let's see if I can get this to focus. Like that's the back of my ankle. Look at that pattern on the back of the heel. Sorry, it's going in and out of focus. How irritating is that? I'm so sorry. Um, so here's the sock. But isn't that so cool how it comes up? And this is extra thick, okay? Because you, you do some and then it gets folded over. So it's extra thick. And then you have this bit here, which gives you more negative ease than the rest of your sock. And of course, the Kitchener stitch for the toe, which I always just love. So I got those, that pair finished. So that was another thing I wanted to get done in July. Um, as far as how much I used, I started, I have my scale right here. I started with this skein. It's Plucky Knitter, it is her sock base. Um, it's called Feet, it's got 425 yards, is what it says, um, 425 yards, 115 grams. And when I weighed this, when I started the sock class, it was 115 grams. So, I have, let's see, 49 grams left. So this was, it was a fun sock. I really did enjoy it, but it did use more than half of a skein for a pair of shorties. Um, very well worth it. I'm super happy with the fit. Um, maybe I'll get a picture of my feet in them, but oh, the idea of putting socks on right now, not something super excited about. So stockings, Lapoof, sock class. That's the status of those three. And then um, I had a Stephen West cast on that was for Nancy over at Kitty Scrapper's birthday. She had a big birthday this month. And what she had asked for was for our group of people that we've kind of all been hanging out on Zoom for a couple years now. And she's like, I'd really love you guys all to just cast on a Stephen West something. And I know there's been a couple of sweaters, a couple of shawls. I don't know what else. Uh, I don't know if anybody did any socks. I believe um, one lovely lady in the group did a sweater for her dog. Um, so we, she wanted us all to do something in uh, with Stephen West and to think about her. And she also wanted it to be done to be done in neon, neon and black, if possible. Well, if you guys have watched this channel, you'll know that a few months ago, I cast on the Treasure Trove by Stephen West with all of my neons in black. So all of those colors that I had are already assigned to a project and cast on and going with a Stephen West project. 
So I pulled out yarn that I had and Nancy actually chose the colors for this project. I showed her what I was gonna be making. And um, so that will be my focus. I'm gonna do this button band, but then that Meshy Twist by Stephen West will be my primary focus for the remainder of Christmas in July vlogs. That'll be, that'll be my focus because I've gotten all these other goals met and it feels so great. Um, so wouldn't it be amazing if I actually got all of them done? I don't know that it's possible. Um, the Stephen West, the, mes the Meshy Twist, if you haven't seen it, it has been a lot of fun, but it is one where I have to be paying attention. And as I'm going through the pattern, I, I'm going to have to just give an example. It's like, do rows um, 18 through 40 six more times. And then once you complete that, it says now do rows 30 through 40 two more times. Now go back and do these. And so it just has you bouncing around a lot and having to keep track. Um, and that's not something I, I'm finding that I'm super great at. <laughs> so I'm trying to keep track of those things and um, I'm having to really pay closer attention. But it's, it's good because it's stretching my brain, which is always good. So that is my progress on where I'm at with everything, you guys. I hope you're all doing good. I'm ready for some cooler weather, but not too much cooler. I want to go outside and I want to feel the sun on my skin. I want to feel it, but I don't want to feel like I'm baking in it. So I'm ready for a little bit of weather change. And hopefully that's on the horizon. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I am going to go edit this right now. And I hope you're all doing great. Bye.